us to try to reduce our dose or reduce the amount of scattered radiation that's going through the room. Uh, one of these is your frames per second. Uh, the standard frame per second or what is typically utilized is 15 frames per second on most of our x-ray equipments. As long as you're okay with the image quality and you can still see from a physician standpoint uh, what, you're, what you're working on, dropping your frames per second to say 7.5 can have a dramatic decrease in the amount of scatter radiation that's going through the room and that we're being exposed to. Using something like real-time dosimetry can visually show you uh, what that represents as far as that scatter radiation in real time in a visual feedback so that it has more impact of uh, showing our clinicians uh, that reducing dose in, in real time uh, can have a distinct impact on trying to lower it overall. Another item that we can use on the x-ray equipment is collimation. So our new physicians, our residents, and our fellows uh, can use something like real-time dosimetry to understand how narrowing the beam and concentrating on a certain area can have, again, a uh, distinct impact on the reduction of the amount of scatter radiation that we're flowing through the room. So giving that visual feedback, it again, gives you a, a better understanding and a deeper impact on what collimation actually does. A third thing is uh, the angulation of the x-ray tube. So keeping the x-ray tube and not having Having a 60 degree angulation uh, can sometimes increase the amount of scatter radiation by three times uh, to the staff that's in the room. So again, teaching good behavior uh, with real-time dosimetry by visually showing you what that represents as far as scatter radiation.